So Muay Thai business is completely different than any other business. Um, you obviously need some type of background in Muay Thai, um, some type of personality. Obviously, if you are good in Muay Thai, you don't always have the best personality. Um, so you need to make sure that you fulfill a good characteristic and a good role model to be in front of people and to teach them the skills that you're able to teach them. Um, obviously, if you run a business, you can be behind the scenes, nobody knows who you are. Uh, Muay Thai, you kind of need to have more of a presence, um, make sure that you're known in the community, and uh, just make sure that you have enough wherewithal of the com surrounding community and people within Muay Thai. Um, I think the role model that I aspire to be uh, is just making sure that my gym is good for the community as well as uh, the community is good for my gym. I want to make sure that kids are able to feel welcomed and uh, kind of grow their their experience in the gym. Uh, I have a huge presence in special needs. Uh, that's my background. I'm a uh, master's in special needs. Um, so I think it's super important that kids are active in that uh, type of community so that they can grow not only mentally but physically as well. Um, and then I am very big in women's empowerment and I want to make sure that women feel strong being in the gym, not just with men but with other women. And uh, the community overall is just big uh, in Muay Thai so that everybody is kind of like happy gets along it's not always about fighting and being like that mean persona it's like growing together as a good team and community um, so like I said most people equate being a fighter as like a mean person and uh, you always have to have like a game face on uh, but I think being an athlete is just as important you obviously you people get sponsorships from being a good person and showing a good uh, community aspect as well. So I think a lot of people have that misconception of uh, you have to be mean in order to be a fighter. Like I go into a ring and I smile all the time and like I try to, you know, be friends with my opponents, give them a hug, try to take a picture after. Uh, you know, just like, again, it's boosting the community. It's not making fighting being such a bad thing and like you have to be a mean person in order to be a fighter. You can be a good person and uh, make sure that being an athlete is like a good role model. You want to make sure that everybody kind of knows that you're there for the community and you're going to be a good representation of Muay Thai. Um, so fighting has taught me a lot of things. I think most importantly it's uh, being open with people and just making sure that I'm very transparent in what I'm doing. Um, my backgrounds, things that has ha have happened to me in the past and have made me a, such a stronger person and made me want to build more of that community aspect um, so that people feel welcomed and nurtured in Muay Thai, not just, again, that it's a mean sport and you have to fight in order to do it. Um, and I think also just being a woman in the sport has taught me a lot. It's a wherewithal, uh, trying to stick with it, not just give up if I'm given some type of adversity. Um, it's just staying true to myself, being a female, and uh, trying to help other females grow in this industry as well. Um, so I just want to give thanks to obviously crew Eric Carner, who's taught me everything. Joe Strip, uh, one of my first ever coaches. He's always been with me. Um, so I thank him. Uh, just everybody who has been in my world previously, Resilient has uh, been a huge help with trying to make sure that I'm covered with all of my fight gear, so thank you for that. Um, if you want to find me, uh, my screen name for Facebook is Lisa Lynn. On Instagram, it's Lisa Lynn MT. So check me out, and thanks a lot, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe.